हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल साइंस क्वेरी आई एम योर होस्ट डॉक्टर आशा एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एक्सोजेनिक प्रोसेसेस एज वी ऑल नो दैट द अर्थ इज कॉन्स्टेंटली चेंजिंग दिस चेंज इन द अर्थ सरफेस हैपेंस ड्यू टू फिजिकल एंड केमिकल प्रोसेसेस दीज आर नोन एज द जियोमॉर्फिक प्रोसेसेस जियोमॉर्फिक प्रोसेस आर ऑफ टू टाइप first one is the exogenic process and another type of geomorphic process is the endogenic process exogenic processes are the process that occurs outside the earth surface these processes that occurs outside of the earth surface are also known as exogenic force because these forces are responsible for the changes in the earth surface endogenic processes are the processes that occurs or are created under the earth surface examples are volcanoes and earthquakes now let us see the exogenic processes in detail erosion transport and storage forces or factors are constantly acting on the surface of the crust and are causing the evolution of the landform some example of exogenic processes are wind and deposition now let us see the phases or stages of exogenic process the first one is the weathering surface rocks or huge icebergs is mechanically or chemically broken by various elements such as humidity moisture temperature and precipitation the second phase of exogenic process is the erosion it removes rocks glaciers soil and other dissolved material from one place on the earth surface and then transport it to another third phase is the transportation transportation is the acquisition of rock debris by geomorphic agent like winds waves etc after transportation the fourth phase comes that is the deposition the process in which some substance such as sediments rocks or soils are added to the earth surface hence the exogenic process completes in total four phases that is the weathering erosion transportation and deposition now let us check some of the interesting facts about the exogenic process it is a slow process the energy required for these processes comes mainly from the atmosphere and the sun This process also gets energy from the slope of the land created by the geological process or slope of gradient. Sediments and sedimentary rocks are formed in this process. This process refers to all the processes that are produced at the surface of the earth. Weathering, erosion, transportation, etc are the primary exogenic processes. This process is also known as the destructive process. Now let us check your knowledge by some quiz. So the first question on exogenic process is the energy required for exogenic processes comes mainly from which source? A sun, B atmosphere, C both the above, D none of the above. Well the answer for this question is both the above. The energy required for exogenic process comes mainly from sun and atmosphere. Now the next question. Volcanic eruptions are A exogenic process, B endogenic process, C both the above, D none of the above. The answer for this question is volcanic eruptions are B endogenic process. Now the next question winds erosion and waves are exogenic process b endogenic process c both the above d none of the above well the answer is wind erosion and waves are exogenic process well that is all about exogenic process if you find this video informative and useful then please don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel science query thank you